everyone, my name's Lauren and welcome to my channel. I've got another nightstand flip for y'all today. I found these at a local thrift store for only $35 a piece. And I knew that with a little bit of paint and some new hardware that these could be really cool um, and that I could sell them for a pretty decent profit. Nightstands normally go really fast in my area. Um, so I'm really excited to show you guys how I achieved this look. <laughs> The first step of any furniture flip is to remove the hardware and clean. I'm not planning to keep this hardware, but I'll set it aside to possibly use it in the future. I vacuumed the inside of the nightstands and the inside of the drawers to remove the excess dust. I used Dawn dish soap, warm water, and a sponge and scrubbed this piece clean. Then I rinse with warm water. Cleaning is not a step that you want to skip or you'll likely have issues with paint adhesion. I went ahead and filled the hardware holes with wood filler as I'm planning to attach new hardware. I placed tape to the back of the holes and filled in with wood filler. I'll likely have to do multiple layers for it to be flush with the wood. The finish on the top of both of these nightstands were failing, so I knew I had to remove the finish. I was planning to sand the top down to raw wood and stain the tops, but I burned through the veneer in a few places and decided to paint the tops instead. I gave the body of the nightstands a good scuff sand with 150 grit sandpaper. Doing a scuff sand gives the paint some good teeth to adhere to. I then got my surf prep sander with the foam pad attached and sanded the detail parts that my orbital sander couldn't reach. I blew the dust away with my blower and wiped the entire piece down with a microfiber cloth. It was finally time to prime. I'm priming with Kills Restoration Primer. I just recently started using this primer and I ended up really liking it. It's water-based so I can spray it on my pieces which has been a huge time saver for me. Before spraying, it's important to strain your paint to ensure your sprayer doesn't get clogged up. After I was finished with the first coat, I took a foam brush and applied primer to the sides of the drawers that the sprayer couldn't reach. After the primer dried, I realized how much the wood grain was showing through this project. I really didn't like the look, so I mixed up spackle and water and applied it against the wood grain to fill it in. After that dried, I sanded it smooth. After wiping away the dust, I applied my second coat of primer. After the primer dried, it was finally time to paint. 
I'm spraying Bear's Alkyd Enamel Paint in a satin finish in the color Aged Beige. This paint dries to the touch in about two hours, but requires four to six hours between coats. It has a built-in top coat, which I really like because it saves me a lot of time. I did the same thing as with the primer and applied paint to the sides of the drawers that the sprayer couldn't reach. So I totally forgot to video the process of me drilling new hardware holes, but I added new hardware that I got from Amazon. I had several people over on my TikTok that really preferred the original hardware on this piece, but I definitely didn't agree with them and I love the new hardware. Let me know down in the comments which you prefer. Just a reminder, this was the before, and this is the after. What do you think of this transformation? Leave your thoughts down in the comments, and be sure to subscribe to my channel for more furniture flips, tips, and tricks.